previously on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Please go stay if I Donkey Kong your Waka continued to deny he and Tammy have issues. Did you have an argument? Nah, it's more of a misunderstanding. Mo takes Soldier under her wing. The directions you gave to Dre, he listened to everything you said. But his past with Nia still has him feeling hot. You gonna shut the door in my face? Keep playing on me. Mo can't touch my girl. Don't talk to my like that. Carl's caught on tape after hours. We FaceTime another woman in front of 27 cameras. Pushing Mo to her limit. Who did you say tell me you love Nobody. me? And maybe to divorce number three. He did that liar. The VIP room is closed. You act like a bitch, not a boss. Five hip hop couples struggling to survive. They don't know how inconsistent your ass is. Count, count, boy. Oh! Dr. Ish and Dr. V are their last shot. Look like to me you were having one of them side piece conversations. You're disrespecting me. Learn how to talk to me. Once you got with me, your life has leveled up. She needs to be controlled. I can beat your ass. Sometimes I feel like this relationship is over. You keep blaming me for the past. Will they level up? I just feel like I gave up. Or wreck it all. He would be sleeping next to the devil and not even know it. <laughs> Go. This is Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Listen, I told you. You told me you're talking to your sister. Yeah, I, reason being, because number one, so that I was got a my kids. Just no, so I'm clear. Is, yeah, it was a lie. Yeah. So that was a lie. Yeah. Okay, so you weren't talking to your sister. No, I wasn't. At the end of that conversation, whoever was on the other end, before they got off the phone, it sounded like Carl said, Tell me you, you love me. You love me. Yeah, you did, bitch. He did that. Because that's the same mother girl that put the on the internet and said, little mo husband said, yeah, I know you did, liar. You know you lying. You, 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 do, you okay, know okay. they, you know they got your Because the same, that's the same bitch you said. That's the same bitch you said. Lying is not. Who did you say tell me you love me? Who did you say tell me you love me? Tell me. I didn't know about Stop lying, Carl. Nobody. Stop lying. I know you lying. I didn't tell nobody I love him. It was after midnight okay. here. No, so listen, what you're not going to do is like sit here and instigate That's what you're not going to do, seriously. Chill the out, y'all. Yo. So if y'all want to have a conversation about it and y'all want to keep agitating me, y'all can talk to her about that. Say what you got to say and keep it moving. I already said it. Listen, I ain't, I'm done here. That's the reason why I don't have a baby right now, because I'm just going to be little mom. So why would a woman who's so talented put up with that? Because I can, and if I let him go, he's gonna, like, he's gonna be in jail or dead. I'm his damn guardian angel. But you're gonna have to realize right. that he's gonna keep things from you, and he's gonna lie. He lied to all of us. I'll be right back. All yes. right. They dirty. Um, I've got a couple images here. You can choose not to look. Are you sure you want to see this? I'll see it. I don't know who that is. Does that look like his sister? No. You got to know where your cap is. You got to know where with too much is too much. He do dumb stuff. But if he's dumb enough to do something like that here, like, that, he's dumb. Yeah. Let's head out. I am glad this came out here, because at the end of the day, people won't think I'm crazy or thinking I'm making up stuff or thinking I'm just sitting online. When my name pops up in my notifications, it's always Little Mo's husband did this. What the hell child in there talking about? Child. <laughs> so, you know, they see everything. Mm -hmm. Our ain't where it needs to be. And I know everybody like, it ain't like, oh, I love you, this and that. Well, I'm just like, something ain't right. So he came downstairs last night and he was on his phone. So this mother on FaceTime eating cereal and before he hung up, he was like, well, tell me you love me. Well, let me see this. But he was in there. Oh, have mercy. Oh, but it was like midnight. I don't know what the is going on. Be capping. Oh, Remember you said, it's a whole lot of capping going on, but I said, everybody ain't lying. You come into marriage boot camp wanting to fix your issues and then trying to be sneaky and do a FaceTime with a bitch? Like, I have no respect for that. It's something. But who my something's gonna upstage that something something. One thing about me is I always bounce back. My bounce back is crazy. Oh, Lord Jesus. So it's actually going down inside the marriage boot camp house, huh? They see everything. Give me a hug, because I up.
I got punished. I can't sleep in my own room. You did what she did, and I didn't like it. And so I'm putting you out for the night. I got mad. I rose my voice at you because I thought you was trying to be sneaky. I, I'm mad because you in somebody else's face. You get mad at me. Part of me like sad. Part of me like, damn, my girl. And part of me like, man, her. Because he stayed and talked to the fellas last night, instead of talking about the FaceTime call, it made me so mad because he gets around people and he feels safe to sleep around them rather than sleeping in our bed with me. And I don't know what's going on at this point. A part of me is mad, but I'm not mad at her. Dr. Ish knows the right thing to say to push my button, but he don't know what the FaceTime was about or who I was actually FaceTiming. That's my, like, my personal business. Carl needs to come clean about the FaceTime because I think that we're all entitled to the answers and why you did what you did. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul will keep. If I should die before I wake, call dog and better not FaceTime, or else I'm going to take his ass with me. Last night I slept on the couch. I ain't having had a good night of sleep. Between my relationship with Nia and my music career and just my life, Everything that I'm dealing with is being young and growing up and becoming older now and trying to get to where I'm going. It's a lot of pressure, you know what I'm saying? So it's real hard. What's up? You OK? Yeah, you good? Mm, I'm all right. I'm, honestly, I'm just worried about you. Honestly, I do. I worry about him. I just, I don't want him to be hurt. You slept downstairs. <laughs> I didn't want to sleep on the couch, but you fed me up. I had to. I got to uh, watch how I talk to you, you know? I don't know if you still feel the same way you, that you felt and what you said. I do. He needs to grow up. He doesn't have real responsibilities. I love him, but I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even know what I have left to give into this relationship. You don't want to be my friend if we don't leave together? Not really. Like, that's not what I want to do. I just don't got time for the games. Like, I feel like she's trying to play me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not going to be in a relationship with somebody, why are you going to be friends? Like, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. I know you want to change those things. I just don't know if you can. I know I can do it. You know what I'm saying? If you really need to give it another shot. Basically, I never thought my husband would want somebody to love him more than he wanted me to love him. You, listen, I'll, Carl, I'll, I'll, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is, then what did you come here to listen, fix? Listen, listen, if you did the same thing, because I said we could talk in here, so you come in here because you. I don't care if we in here or not. You still no, 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 because I'm, you're walking away and you're not letting me finish my point. A lot of think that cheating is actual sex. No, cheating is is it could be emotional more than it is physical. It made me so mad, because why is your name always in the media or the blogs for something negative? Why does it have to say Little Mo's husband is always cheating or infidelity or texting and FaceTiming? He got caught for that one. Just think of the other ones that he didn't get caught for. You lie? Because I asked you why'd you lie? And you still haven't answered me? And then I said, then I said, who was this? Who is it? Patience is the simplest form of faith. So while Carl is ignoring Mo's attempts to confront the issue, 
Mo is not only losing patience with the situation, she's losing faith in Carl. And the more Mo begs for answers, the more Carl shuts down. His refusal to clarify this is actually a denial of Mo's pain. If Carl doesn't step up now and give Mo some of the answers she needs, this just might be the beginning of the end for the Carl and Little Mo show. You gonna ask somebody if they love you, but you, you can't answer the question? Like, where they do that at? Yeah, what are you saying? I wanted some closure when I got up today, so I know what I'm fighting for. This hit me from a blind side. My room is mic'd up. I have cameras in my room, so actually it's not private. Baby, peeking. There's nothing nobody doing. Hey, baby, I can't do it. He's telling me what's wrong with me, so I'm not fighting. You thought you were telling me it's private? People are hitting me or something, and I can't fight for all of them. I'm fighting. I don't give a I got you. If you want me to Carl got to me, but there's a reason why I'm still here. I still have doubts that he's willing to change, but I really love Carl. Damn, gonna be awkward today with Mo and Carl. She was just like, it is what it is. She talked hard for a minute, like, when I get home, da 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 I'm like, you're a woman at the end of the day, and I know that hurts, yeah. period. Mo is really trying to be strong right now. Me? Oh. I would have turned this whole house into the Bad Girls Club real quick. Why are you so defensive? If it's nothing, why are you tripping? Well, you should have known whether to come out here and do that in here. Book campers to the dining room now. I want day seven to be a better day. I want us to get through the day without an argument. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> morning, morning. Welcome to day seven. You're just past halfway. In just four days, you all have a big decision to make. You need to decide if this relationship is worth saving. Should you leave here together or apart? So this is possibly the toughest day of boot camp. Oh, God. That also means it is absolutely vital to your growth as individuals and as a couple. We're all products of our past. Of the decisions that we've made, and of the choices that we were not allowed to make. Today, we're gonna delve into your childhood memories. Tiffany, how you doing? My childhood wasn't good, so I don't wanna go back there. Coming up on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. Y'all have seen some <laughs> up Toast to the past, man. You know, all that pain we went through. I would never do that to my kids. If somebody did some like that, I would go crazy. We have some special guests today. I can say what I want to say. Leave me alone! Bro, who the f you talking to? We're all products of our past, of the decisions that we made, and of the choices that we were not allowed to make. Today, we're going to delve into your childhood memories. Tiffany, how you doing? My childhood wasn't good, so I don't want to go back there. I didn't have growing up. Holidays was like no birthday parties. Like, I didn't have childhood. Tiffany, if just thinking about it makes you sad and makes you cry, then that means you're not done with it. So I want you to go back one last time today, fix it so we can move forward the right way. Tiffany, Waka, Sean, Nia, and Carl, follow me. Everybody else, you're going to come with me. We're going to head down to the lower lawn. Come on, guys. They, they got the lit team. Right. <laughs> Childhood trauma is particularly prevalent in the hip hop community. And while many artists have found their voices both in spite of and because of the struggle, it's this very same trauma that affects every aspect of their lives especially in their relationships. It's not our traumas that define us, but how we heal from them. Our artists express their feelings through music, but expression and healing aren't the same thing. So in order to heal, they need to confront these painful memories, put them in their rightful place, and repair their relationships. Oh, God. What? Oh, uh, Well, come on. So everyone stand in front of a board. That's spray paint. Oh, I'm about to wet the wall up, my For a lot of you, the past still has a firm grip on who you are right now today. 
We want you to draw one positive memory and two negative memories from your childhood. I don't know if I can do this. There was no good childhood memories for me. Now remember, we're gonna be doing three pictures, right? So give yourself room. Mo, you were tired tonight for me? Mm-hmm. Can't get it. Stick, man. That's all right. It's not about <laughs> your art skills. I start thinking of, like, that best Christmas. I wrote a list to Santa Claus. I had no expectations on getting anything because I just knew my mom couldn't afford it at the time. And I got everything on that list. Uh, I don't know how to draw this. Uh, my art skills aren't that great at all. My five-year-old is way better than me. Me and my daddy went fishing, and it was just, like, one of the best moments, like, ever. Like, it was just me and my daddy. I can see you smiling even with the mask on. Yeah. Waka, are you ready to talk about anything yet? My teenage life, the yellows is the stars of the people I lost. Dr. B asking me that's years and years of hurt and pain. I got literally locked. Anything that could hurt me, put in the room in my mind, lit the room on fire, and just never opened the door. Take in the images you've created today. If you were truly honest with yourself, it should be a roadmap of defining moments in your life. Nia, come on up. Come on up, Soja. I was 15, 16. Well, I put a V and it's crossed out. I was raped when I lost my virginity. I don't think till I got here I actually realized that it affected me. I feel like something special was taken from me. Um, I've never really dealt with it, honestly, until now. I want you to think about how your past trauma affects you now. I think that, like, shut me down. And I think I just kept myself from getting attached to people. Yeah. And building real relationships and emotions with them. I feel like in a heartbeat, I can completely put a wall up. Yeah. This is me in Atlanta, Georgia. I was 11 years old. The black drawing is my daddy and the white drawing is my mama. They were split up, you know what I'm saying? I had to choose, like, who I wanted to be with. What choice did you make? I went with my daddy. I just wanted to go be with him. Mm -hmm. How often did you see your mom after that? I ain't really see her that much. And how'd that make you feel as a son to her? <sighs> you ain't one really I could do, you feel me? I understand. When I seen Soldier break down, that just broke me. We talk about the biggest fear you have, which is losing your lady. Right? You lost the first lady in your life. You didn't have any control over those circumstances, but you had to deal with the consequences so you know what it feels like to lose that, right? Yeah. This is the first time we've seen Soldier in the house show up <laughs> open. <laughs> I'm proud of him. My little brother here is called Riley. He got killed by a white man that was drunk. Killed my little brother and he never went to jail. They just gave my family a check. They created a monster. It created a monster. A monster. monster. This is my birthday. I walked my uncle to the car so he could go give me some money for my birthday. And somebody walked up behind him and killed him in front of me. About a year later, cousin got killed. My brother got killed. And another cousin got killed. It was just the same over and over again. To these 22 people that meant so much to me that passed away. It's normal. It's weird how, how, how the things feel normal. Mm. Mm. The most traumatic moment coming up in my life, losing my brother the day I committed to the University of Memphis. My brother sometimes used to rob a dude. I mean, he was going to get it to bring it back for us. But we all knew what came in that life. That's why I got the money down there, because there's blood on the money, you know what I mean? Right. See, my daddy used to be in and at the house. This particular day, I remember just saying, where you going, daddy? He was like, I'll be back, and I cried. I was like, daddy, come back. I did not want you to go. He still left, so I feel like it was something else that was more important than me. That's probably why I don't push certain issues mm -hmm. or argue over certain things, because I just don't want to lose them. I understand. I don't want to push nobody away, I understand. you know? I understand. The first death I seen was my little cousin. That was one of the darkest moments and worst moments of my childhood life. I could see somebody shoot him in his face. So I just sat there and just watched him die. Uh, my first bad memory was age five. It's all right. It's all right. Take your time. 
I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know how it started. I don't know why. But I was like molested from the age of five till about like the whole time I was in elementary school. When something happens and you get used to it happening, used to it happening, you're, you, you're immune to it. Dad's always got your back unconditionally. Yeah. When this horrible thing was happening, you were yeah. five, you didn't tell him about it. Yeah. Why? He probably would have probably would have killed him or did something crazy. Well, you're going to lose him because he's going to go to jail. Yeah. I just had this exact same conversation with you last night. If I let him go, he's going to like he's going to be in jail or dead. You, you see how that connects? You protected your father in that situation because you wanted to keep him close to you. You didn't want to lose him because of some consequence. Same way you're protecting Carl now. I made the high school basketball team. And right before we started our season, I had to check out of school because my group got a record deal. I felt like this was my opportunity to get my mom, stop having to work so much. My dream was to play ball, and I never really got to pursue that. Every relationship I've had, aside from my son's father, they beat me. I thought it was normal. <laughs> my mom's ex used to beat my mom's ass. One time, he threw me and my mom out of a car while I was driving. So he said, you know, I'm going to kill the both of you at the same time. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Situation like that, but I, I ain't ready to talk about Nah, that. We have some special guests today. What do you want to tell her, Tiffany? I don't know. My mom's ex used to beat my mom's ass. One time, he threw me and my mom out of a car while I was driving. So he said, you know, I'm going to kill the both of you at the same time, pretty much. Music is something that I feel like I just fell into. Now I'm, like, stuck in a position where I still got to provide for people mm -hmm. on doing something that I don't truly love doing. Damn. Gotcha. Gotcha. How did the sacrifice end up hurting you? This group didn't last. And he would come and he would steal and beat her. And now I'd have to grab my little brother. I just always remember locking us in the closet until my mom would come get us. And sometimes my mom was crawling to come get us. Oh, How does this affect you today? I don't trust men. You can go from relationship to relationship getting in and out and never really wanting to get too close because you know it's going to hurt because deep down in your mind, you feel like it's not going to last. You don't have to bury these memories anymore. They're out there. You just have to reclaim control over them so they don't continue to define who you are. And celebrate the positive memories. Those are the ones we're all striving to create as we progress in our lives. So I want you to reflect on the journey each of you took each of you through and we'll see you in a little bit. This drill made me actually come, become closer with the group because I was able to see their struggles and the things that other people went through. I really felt like all our secrets was out. Yeah. yeah. Tell the truth now. Woo! Oh, man. Girl. It was lit, wasn't it? Man. Have you ever seen Fizz cry before? No. Never? Did he cry out there? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. We're here to gain something out of this, whatever it may be. So hearing that he had a breakthrough, that made me feel good inside. I, I was happy for him. Oh, she yeah, said it got real for them. It did. You ever seen Dre cry? Yeah. He cried too? It Drew was... and Dre cried? Everybody was. Girl. Damn. Did you cry? Why not? Mm -hmm. I'll make you cry. I told him reasons why I don't cry. Why don't you cry? Because a lot of the that happened in my life, a lot of the worst that happened in my life became normal to me. So it was like, oh, That's well. the same thing Soldier said. He was like, I ain't really had, he said, I can't even think of no bad memories because bad happened in the hood. We just become used to it. I'm like, yo, that's not good. He laughs so he doesn't have to cry or the way he processes pain is like so weird. I'm like, how do you go through that and think that's normal? That damages a kid. It does something to them. Nowadays, I'm immune to it when 
happen. I don't run away from it. I run to it. You know that's not good. That's trauma. Post-traumatic stress disorder is like the equivalent to being in war. Did you cry? Hmm? Did you cry at the thing? Hell no. Oh. It's too late to cry for me. Damn. Way too late. I indulge a lot of like, and it's a lot of things I ain't even put on that board. I'm telling you, I ain't even know I was gonna make it out. Even to be like 32 years old is an accomplishment to me. When I turned 30, I was like, oh, I'm 30 years old. What the? I ain't even planned to live that long. I kind of said a date. I did not come here to be doing all this, bringing up all these troubled passes, and you know what I mean. None of that got to do with me having cold feet. Well, that same to think it do. They seem to think our childhood affect our relationship now. I think Jessica, anxiety, problem, or fear she had, every time I get ready to leave the house, she always brings something up or someone arrives for me to stay. Triggering back them memories and make you act out in certain ways. Like you said, you think this why I be so angry because I might have some stuff in my childhood I ain't got over or something. Anger built up. Mm -hmm. Boot campers, please join us outside. Go ahead, Grace. Go. Go. I'm opening the face. door for you. What you mean? Oh, we put our paintings up with these kids looking at it. What is about to happen? I don't need to cry no more. Where are we? What are we doing? Are we babysitting? I could have brought blessing. Word. As you can see, we have some special guests today. Here comes another guest right now. What happened to your knee? I fell. Did you fall on the playground? No, my mom's nest pushed my mom and I out the car. It was still moving. Oh my God, are you okay? I guess. It's not as bad as when he comes over. Then it's really bad. Yeah, me and my brother hide in the closet until their mom comes to get us. Yo, that's crazy. And there's no one to help you? Not since my grandfather passed. Seeing little Tiffany come out, I still felt like that little girl. Um, I guess when I get older and I'm old enough to have a boyfriend, I'll move in with him. Well, better be careful. You don't want to get into the same situation. I guess. It is what it is. I think life gives you what you're worth. Maybe this is what I'm worth. Tiffany's having an emotional day today. I never seen her in that type of shape before and actually never heard this story before from her. So I just feel like, you know, she needed some consoling at the time. Next special guest, come on out, young man. I see that look on your face. Why are you so excited? Christmas is coming. I love Christmas. Ah, mm. Your family's got something big planned? I don't know. Without my dad, we don't have as much money. Dad's gone? Well, he promised that we'll have a relationship, but it never really happened. Nothing is forever. So what are your dreams? When I grow up, I'm going to play basketball. I'm going pro, and I'm going to live my dream. If I can't live the dream, then I can't love myself. I didn't catch your name. What's your name? My name is Drew. And your name? My name is Tiffany. So Tiffany, you knew immediately who that was when she walked out. It feels, I don't know. Part of me wanted to grab her, mm -hmm. protect her. Yeah. What would you say to a Tiffany? <laughs> I don't know, because there was no one there. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Y'all have seen some f***ed up Hey, yo! Bro, what you to? One thing you don't do is Go on each other's phones. Even though we're married, it's some type of personal space you have. Even sometimes when Mo thinks that, oh no, you don't have no personal space when you're married. 
when you when you actually do. So we came to agreement, like, yo, look, I'm gonna go through your phone, you're not gonna go through my phone. I was like, all right, fine. She was like, yo, my father taught me. She was like, don't go looking for nothing if you ain't trying to find nothing. What did you need somebody to tell you? I would want someone to protect her. But there's like, she's little, she can't protect herself. <laughs> mm. Even though it was dark days, I still came out, I still made it. You'll still be okay. All right, Piz, talk to me. Don't be in a rush to grow up. You don't have to sacrifice so early. And, and Drew, you know, you need to find peace within you. And you don't have to apologize for anybody about what you want or who it is you really feel like you are. You have a right to show up in this world, full grown Drew, exactly how you want to. And when can you... you guys see your relationship playing out? Can you see how it's intertwined? No trust. Trust, you know, trust is a big issue for me. Here comes another guest right now. Hi, how are you today? I'm okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You don't like people touching you? I don't know. It started with a boy, I think. A boy touched you? He did more than just touch me. He followed me into the bathroom, and then he shut the light off. It's not a big deal. I don't need your sympathy. Are you this way with your mom or with your friends? I don't have many friends. Why is that? My mom. Every time she breaks up with somebody, we move. Even my dad. They break up and then they get together again. I just want to stay in one place, one person, and lead a normal life. I think we have another special guest back there. How are you, young man? I'm good. Yeah? Sure, you look like you have something on your mind. I miss my mom. My parents split. I chose my dad. But it was like looking at myself, though, man. It was, it was, it was weird. It was From now on, I'm not losing nothing. What do you mean? From now on, I call the shots. I'm in control. But you can't control everything. If you fight hard enough, you can. My life, my career, my relationship, all on my terms. If you want to be me, that's the way it is. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. What's your name, young man? My name is Jay. And what's your name? My name is Nia. It's hard coming from a kid. I would have never said those things when I was little. I'm just now saying them. I'm yeah. almost 30. What would you want her to know? How to deal with it, how to get through? To say something. Tell somebody. Dre, what would you say to your younger self if you could go back in time? Be smart on how you move and watch who you surround yourself with. A little soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, young lady. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I was supposed to be seeing my dad today, but he went out with his girlfriend. But I understand. You do. People don't seem to want to be around me for too long. Something must be wrong with me. It's emotional, but I like hearing it from a, a kid's point of view, because you know exactly how vulnerable you were when you were going through this particular situation. Do you want to get married someday? Totally, but I have to be careful. I don't want to scare anyone off, you know? It'll happen when he thinks it's right. <laughs> hey, young man, how are you today? Good. I was just playing basketball. I'm going to be a pro when I grow up, if I live a long time. The streets are rough. Me and my brother already planned out what we're going to do if one of us die first. He looks out for you, huh? It's just us. It's OK. When I go pro, we will set. And he won't have to rob houses anymore. What's your name, little man? My name is Sean. And your name? My name is Jessica. I'm just saying it coming from a younger voice. Just seeing that, like, the, hearing the fear in her voice and mm -hmm. the hurt. You can see the trauma I've been through, you know what I mean, for a long time. Being in that trauma so long, it becomes second nature. I feel like we just can't be too content since we got the understanding of the situation. We know where our scars come from and we know all that. I feel like we just need to better ourselves and just move forward. How are you, young lady? I'm OK. Wow, you look a little tense. It's life. You don't have to be so tough. It's just life. My uncle got shot, my brother, my cousin. It happens. You sound really angry. I have a right to be angry. 
Dang, that little girl acting just like Tammy. That's Tammy. It protects me. I'm strong, I'm solid, and I'm good. When I grow up, I'm going to make sure that my family is strong and solid. It's life, and I'm dealing with it. Hey, young man, how are you doing today? It's all good. All good? Nothing to talk about? You won't understand. Try me. If you haven't been where I've been, survived what I survived, you just can't help me, man. I was a kid just trying to live up to family hype. My family was, like, like known in the neighborhood. I never, ever could live for me. Like, I was living for expectations. Just because you survived doesn't mean you're really living. I'm all good. After you lose a brother, see people die in front of you, nothing can hurt you. But nobody's invincible, and nobody should have to be. Look, I'm all good. I'm straight. What's your name, young man? My name is Joaquin. And your name? My name is Tammy. Crying don't make you weak. Everything that you went through, even though it's up, it's going to make you a great person, and you're going to take care of a lot of people. It was actually like a play. It made, it made more sense. And I seen the hurt on you. And just to see somebody that young facing those problems, it's like, wow. Um, that's why I'm here. I ain't gonna lie, man. I live in my head. Mm -hmm. now, when I was his age, I couldn't live in the moment. My moment was stole. What moment? My moment as a child. Mm -hmm. I always had to help. I always had to protect everybody. I always had to make you look good. It's not fair for him. No, nah, it definitely wasn't fair. He gets fair. to have a moment, too. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How was school today? I survived. That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, but these girls bully me, but I'm OK. What do your parents say? Well, I don't tell them, especially my dad. He's not there for you? No, the opposite. My dad is my superhero. So why won't you tell him? Because my dad loves me so much that if I told him, he would go crazy. And so that's why I can't tell him about school, and I can't tell him about the guy that touches me. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. I became suicidal. Like, I used to be on Damn, if my daughter was that age, and somebody did some like that, I would go crazy. Why you in the other bed, folks? I'm hurt. Oh, shut up. Oh, I'm talking to you. If I told him, he would go crazy. And so that's why I can't tell him about school, and I can't tell him about the guy that touches me. Someone touches you? Yeah, but if I told him, he'll kill him, and then he'll end up in jail. I'm good. When I grow up, I'm going to be Superwoman. Sounds like that little girl is going to get lost in there. Cynthia will be OK. I've got a little mo in there. Ah, we got another special guest. Come on out, young man. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you have a big smile on your face? How are you, young man? I'm great. As a matter of fact, I'm the best. I just won a junior boxing championship. <laughs> wow. Mm, wow. Congratulations. Your family must be very proud of you. Yeah. My dad isn't really around. And my brothers and cousins live in a whole different world. Well, not my cousin. He's dead now. I saw him get shot in the face. It's fine. It is what it is. I just shoved that anger down. <laughs> Helps my boxing, you think? No, I never talk about it. I always say, oh, if I, like, if we're in a certain part of the hood, I always say, oh, yeah, that's when my cousin got killed there. I never talked about it. People die around me all the time. Ain't nothing. I just shut it off. By the way, what's your name? My name is Carl. And your name, young lady? Little Mo. That was accurate. Turn all that negative energy into positive motivation. And you're going to be all right when you get older. And Mo, that guy who was touching her when he shouldn't be, was that her fault? No. It's not your fault who it happened to. It's not your fault that it happened to you. Your defense mechanism was Little Mo. Yeah. You created Little Mo to I protect created Cynthia. My alter ego, and I became that. And I was like, y'all won't get the real me. Nope. Y'all gonna get the monster that I create. But I, I love being Little you. Mo, but there are times yeah. I just be like, what the f am I thinking? Y'all have seen some f up. Like, for real. It's a scary world out there. And if kids don't feel loved, safe or protected, it can imprint an emotional landmine that will follow them through their whole entire lives. Not all stories have a happy ending. 
You gotta make that ending. Today was a difficult day. So tonight, there will be no jury of your peers. Good job, guys. Good job. I've been crying all day. This has been a long journey for me, just going, taking myself back through childhood and just facing all of this stuff. I realized that a lot of my issues I tried to cover up, and they explain a lot of the reason why I act the way I do today. <laughs> Walter is emotionless. This don't got no emotion. No, he do. Like he didn't practice yeah. suppressing that I seen my boy D-Mike try to be real tough, but that eyes got real blurry, bro. Who? D Dynamite. <laughs> them people do them. Because where we come from, we taught uh, emotion gonna show you weak. weak. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Our mama even. I wasn't ignoring tough. As soon as somebody died, I'm gonna show you how much I'm gonna cry. That's how we had to survive. Yeah. You can't survive where we come from crying and on a lot of emotion. Oh, my dad or my mom, them gone. You gotta, man, hit that mother. You know what I'm saying? The flow running, like, ah, yeah, I'm in it. Toast to the past, man, you know, all that pain we went through, and still sitting right here right now, you dig? Word. You know, it was a very emotional day today, man. Like, too much. This house is beginning to be kind of like, ugh, exhausting. Like, you talking about your that shit hella break, because I've had situations like that, but I, I ain't ready to talk about it. I didn't even realize that. It, I was sexually abused until I like got older and I was like, damn, if my daughter was that age and somebody did something like that, I would go crazy. I wish I would have said something because then they could have put me in therapy because I became suicidal. Like I used to be on some That's why my daughter, I'm the way I am with her, like, nah, f that. Too much emotion today. That was a lot for me. I saw you when we were all together. Crazy. You good now though? Mm-hmm. on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. She know how to press my buttons. Think about seeking out help. This is the final countdown until you decide the fate of your relationships. She made it all. The first drill of the day is a challenging one. Oh my oh. God. What the f is this? Are you ready to die in that bitch? You would rather protect your image and hurt her? Damn. Stop doing stupid They didn't woke up a monster. <laughs> 